Hi everyone. Welcome to Zynerd's Neat PG Information Series. I am Ashok. I've been supporting Neat PG aspirants for the last few years. This is the first video by Zynerd in a series of videos that we plan to share over the next few months to help candidates with the Neat PG counseling process. This is part one of the video on AAQ seats. In part one of this video, we'll be looking at All India Counseling. And in part two, we will be looking at AAQ seats in specific, basically the eligibility criteria, rules on registration, choice filling, joining, upgradation, etc. Once the revised information bulletin is shared by MCC, we'll be updating part two. And you can see the link in the description below. We'll start with All India Counseling. All India Counseling is conducted for all seats which are of central nature. Uh, the responsibility is that of DGHS and uh, DGHS runs it through the Medical Counseling Committee, MCC, and the website is mcc.nic.l. We'll have a look at the set of seats that are under the scope of All India Counseling, basically all those that are of central nature. What you see in this screen is a complete set of seats which are covered under All India Counseling. One, you have the deemed to be universities, which are of central nature and do not come under any state authority. 100% of seats under the deemed universities are allotted through All India Counseling by MCC. Out of these seats, 85% come under the management quota, that is MNG, as it is referred to in the seat matrix and the allotment list. All qualified NEET PG candidates across India are eligible for the management quota seats. The rest 15% come under the NRI quota for which NRI candidates are eligible. The documents that are requested uh, required for uh, conversion of Indian to NRA candidates uh, had to be sent earlier to MCC and the deadline is over. The eligible list of candidates uh, would be released by MCC uh, in uh, uh, basically a day or two before the choice filling starts. All NRA con candidates are also eligible for management quota seats. The second set of seats are Central University or Central Institute seats. Central universities are basically uh, DU, BHU, or AMU. Uh, DU has institutes like uh, MAMC, Lady Harding, UCMS, etc. Uh, BHU has uh, IMS, BHU, and AMU has Jawaharlal Nehru Medical College, AMU. Uh, other than this, you have Central Institute institutes under IP University of Delhi. Institutes like VMMC, uh, ESI Delhi, PGIMER Delhi come under IP University. 100% of the central university institute seats are allotted through All India Counseling. Of these, 50% of seats are only available for candidates who are MBBS from those respective universities. For instance, if you are an MBBS from DU, subject to other conditions, you would be eligible for DU quota seats. Same for other quotas. The rest 50% of seats from these central universities or institutes are available for all qualified need PG candidates across India under the All India Quota. So uh, if you are a candidate who's not an MBBS from DU, BHU, AMU, or IP, you would be eligible for 50% of central university seats. And while registering, you will have to select All India Quota for being eligible for these seats. We are re-emphasizing this because many candidates who want to, who are not MBBS from DU, BHU, AMU, IP, because they want to be eligible for central university seats, end up selecting DU, BHU, AMU, or IP quota. All you have to do is, if you're not an MBBS from DU, BHU, AMU, or IP, select All India quota. By being a qualified NEET PG candidate across India, you would be eligible for 50% of central university or institute seats under All India quota. The next set of seats are from two institutes, uh, both Central Institute, Central Institute of Psychiatry, Ranchi, and uh, Lokapriya Gobinath Institute of Mental Health and Tezpur, Azam. 100% of seats under uh, of these institutes come under the All India Quota, and all qualified NEET PG candidates are eligible for these seats. Uh, as we know, 50% of seats in state government institutes are surrendered to All India Quota. In addition to these, we also have ESI institutes, which come under the state authority, like ESI Delhi, ESI Bangalore, uh, ESI Kolkata, uh, ESI Chennai, etc. So 50% of seats under these ESI institutes also come under All India Quota. They are surrendered to All India Quota and all qualified NEET PG candidates are eligible. 
from this year like we know dnb seats are going to be allotted through all india counseling or uh, dnb seats uh, may be from uh, private hospitals from government hospitals or from teaching hospitals and medical colleges and we will have two categories of seats one is dnb post mbbs seats which we all we are all aware of the second set of seats are uh, the recently accredited nb diplomas which are offered from the session 2021 22 there are around 1800 seats in the uh, as mentioned in the accredited portal we expect that all these seats would be allotted through all india counseling conducted by mcc we expect that all these seats will be available in round 1 but uh, we will get a confirmation on this once the seat matrix is released a day uh, before the choice filling starts uh, now if you look at this entire set of seats from 1 to 6 if you are interested in any of these seats uh, deemed universities central university seats under uh, uh, if you are mbbs from central universities or if you want to avail central university seats which come under all india quota uh the central institute seats the state government seats uh, which come under all india quota and the dnb seats which come under all india counseling this year you will have to register for all india counseling under mcc.nic.in now uh the choice filling the allotments are done by mcc for this entire set of seats from 1 to 6 the next set of seats that we will discuss are afms seats afms seats are allotted through a counseling which are conducted uh, by which is conducted by afmc pune this will be a physical counseling at the location afmc pune candidates will have to report there there will be a medical fitness test followed by the counseling now uh, afms however for afms seats you will have to mandatorily register mandatorily register at mcc.nic.in you will have to log in register and once and select afms if you are interested in afms seats once you register the list of candidates who have registered will be shared with afmc pune and then you will be able to attend the physical counseling at afmc pune afms seats are allotment is prioritized as priority 1 to priority 5 priority 1 is officers from afms priority 2 and 3 are sponsored candidates of uh, foreign sponsored or government organization sponsored candidates priority 4 is ex afms uh, ssc officers and uh, priority 5 is where uh, civilians are allotted all qualified candidates are eligible for priority 5 subject to a medical examination which will be conducted at afmc pune uh, basically afm before if you are interested in afms while you are registering for mcc select afms during registration if you are in doubt even then select afms during registration the registration fee or the security deposit does not change uh, irrespective of uh, whether you select afms or not uh, you can decide at a later point in time on whether you want to attend afms or not the link for afmc counseling is mentioned here we'll also mention it in the description now uh all india counseling is basically conducted for all the set of seats which i mentioned from 1 to 6 we said that among these there is a specific distinction between all india quota and counseling that we need to be very clear about we, before we move to the next video all india counseling is a counseling like we mentioned which is conducted for all these six set of seats including dnb deemed and uh, central university quota seats but all india quota only refers to those seats which are mentioned in red here 3 4 5 4 for which all qualified neat pg candidates are eligible and these are all md ms diploma seats in government institutes either central government or state government institutes or institutes like esa etc so the distinction is that all india quota refers to a set of seats and all india counseling refers to a counseling that is conducted for a larger set of seats now uh, why this distinction is uh, required to be understood it is because the rules may differ within all india counseling for all india quota seats as well as the rest of the seats the number of rounds the rules the upgradation rules the surrender rules etc may differ so that is why we need to have this distinction and the next video will specifically talk about all 
all india quota seats and the rules and regulations regarding all india quota after that we will also go through the rules and regulations for deemed etc in separate videos at a later point of time hope this video was helpful for you all uh, if you feel that this would be helpful for your other friends please do share it uh, with uh, your other friends or uh, those for those, those who would be interested in this channel we would be uploading uh, a lot of videos later on uh, other information that would help you for neat pg counseling thank you